Hi there, so here in this module, we are going to learn how to design a programmable current source of virtually any value more than 100 microampere. So I will show you, we can design a programmable current source using two resistors. R1 and R2, one operational amplifier and a hundred microampere. This is hundred microampere current source as a reference. So in this part, we will see this will work as a current source delivering an output current more than hundred microampere, any value in multiples of hundred microampere and this circuit will work as current sink for a current for receiving a current of any value more than 100 micro multiples of 100 microampere so coming back to this section we have used this voltage source from which we have put up this constant current source as a current reference. So basically we are using a current reference or current source to generate another current source. So that's the value of 100 microampere. And this is like a current source, assuming it is an ideal uh, current source. It means it delivers a constant current irrespective of changes into the supply or temperature or the process, etc and it delivers a constant current irrespective of the voltage across it. And then, uh, yeah, that's what I said, the voltage process and the temperature. So this forces, this 100 microampere comes at this node generating a voltage drop across this resistor R1, which is chosen to be N times the resistance R2. And assuming the open loop gain of an operational amplifier is pretty high, we are using the op amp as a voltage follower or an unity gain buffer. So at the positive input, the voltage across the R1 that is generated due to this current source gets supplied here. Let's call it as a V1. And there is this voltage V2 over here. Since the gain of the amplifier is too large, open loop gain, it will try to minimize the difference between the V1 and V2 to a value zero, close to zero. And because of that action, this V1 appears here, which is nothing but connected to the output. So output voltage is nothing but this V1, which is 100 microampere, multiplied by R2 times N, the value of R1. Now this current is flowing through the R2 and that is your I out, which is an output current. So I out is flowing and it is, if you connect another load here, so that current is going to flow through the load. That's why it will act as a current source, as I said in the beginning. So the value of that output current is the voltage drop across the R2, which is V1 divided by the value of the resistor R2 itself. So it is like uh, I out will be V1 divided by R2. Okay, so you see how op amp and using two resistors of arbitrary values, we can programmably set the value of the output current I out. Okay, just choose the value of a resistors and you get this one. So you can see that it is 100 microampere multiplied by R2 times N divided by R2. R2 gets cancelled. So it is 100 microampere multiplied by N. Why it is written N plus N one here? Just write your views in the comment section. So that's the multiple of 100 microampere you have been able to produce as a current source. And uh, this current source has a 
compliance with the negative rail of the operational amplifier, it can swing all the way to the negative rail. How? That too also an exercise for you. Here, a current source, sink now. So current sink is, 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 is a circuit that is ready to receive a current coming into it. So that's why the direction of the arrow shows right here. I out is again n times the 100 microampere. What I have done here to the negative voltage source, I am connecting a 100 microampere current sink. Now here also I am using a current sink as a reference. And then the voltage here that is uh, produced again gets connected through the because of the open loop, very high open loop gain of the op amp. And that voltage is nothing but a drop across your output and that is how you get this uh, voltage area so this circuit and this circuit essentially same just the positions are swapped the value of the capacitor is there just to provide the stability is this so hope you understand how to design a simple programmable current source using one operational amplifier any op amp with a high loop, open loop gain can be used in a voltage buffer configuration okay so we know that the operational amplifier used as a voltage buffer it is output is gain times vid where vid is v1 minus v2 that is how you can do that okay so stay tuned for more innovative circuits like